But if you only have love for your own race, then you only leave space to discriminate and to discriminate only generate. Don't worry about the next, cause it's your boy Chris with the next. And this is also some real black ass talk for Black History Month. Um, this is a quick topic that I want to talk about. Not that I truly like, believe in it wholeheartedly, but a lot of people say, can you be friends with other people outside your race and will they really be down for you? Now, my answer, because you know about peace and love, yeah, my answer is, yeah, you can because some people are very monotone like me. I don't care what color of skin you are, as long as you're real with me, as long as you're down with me, I'll be down with you. But then you have some people who are just cultural vultures, who listen to your music, they listen to a music party with you, um, fucking women and men, and then when it comes down to some stuff like Black Lives Matter or whatever, then they tend to bounce on you. Or you just have some race traders who, after you stop being friends, they start getting racist and you start seeing their true colors. And I've had a lot of that. From like Latinos, you know, Mexicans, and whites, mostly Mexicans, but... And this isn't like a, a single out anybody. Like I said, this can happen to anybody. I'm just talking about my experience. Um, yeah, you can be friends outside of race, but again, you gotta uh, be careful. Pick your friends like you pick your fruit. Pick the good ones, you know. I just feel that some people, like, they show their true colors once you get mad at them. And if they can say all that stuff to you, uh, when they get mad, that means they was never your friend and they was already plotting against you. And it's like, people are out, and how do you feel about people of other races saying nigga? Because I get a lot of uh, people who do that, like, a lot of Latinos. Um, you know, say a nigga around me, and then they say it in a way like, "Oh, I'm saying it," and a black person's right there, and they ain't gonna, they saying shit because I don't say, "Hey, chunty," you know. So why are you saying that, you know? So yeah, you can be friends outside of your race, but you got to be very cautious because a lot of people will only use your movement to look at you and get past you. Some ain't your brothers and sisters. Some, and it's just usually the traditional ones. The newer generation is just getting that, you know, it doesn't matter what race you are. There's good people and bad people in every race. Hell, there's people in my race that I don't even like. So I just want to feel that that's just a topic that I want to jump on. Because, yeah, I've been deceived by a lot of um, people outside of my color and saying, you know, once they get mad, you know, they start showing their true racist colors. And um, they never will be downfield. It's backstab you. And this is usually for what you got. And that could be anybody. Just not a certain race, a certain topic. It's just, this is, that could be anybody in, in general. So, any comments, questions, concerns, let me know. Again, this is not a hate video. It's just me talking about my experiences, you know. Or, uh, you know, saying stuff like I'm dark or just all, all this, you know, racist stuff. And it just makes you believe, like, because it just keeps happening. And I just wanted to know. So, anyways, this is Bunya Boy, Chris with the next. Awesome, real black ass talk. Alright, peace.